This is a video um, all about using Leah's Talker, an high tech um, app, as opposed to her book. So the first thing to see is obviously there are a lot of similarities. Um, the categories are very similar and the colours are the same. And obviously the symbols are the same because it's still both major symbols that are on there. But naturally being a high tech, um, it is a bit different. For one, you've not got a smart partner operator. So whatever you put in here, it'll, that'll be what's said. Um, so it is fairly easy to operate as well. And that all you have to do is press a button. Do. And then press the big button at the top. And it speaks. Um, so there are some navigation buttons generally around it. So um, if, you, if you've put a message in, and you want to clear it, you just press it at the bottom. If you want to just simply delete a word, just that one there. And these tend to be on most of the pages, those buttons. Um, if you go into a pop-up, I'll talk about the difference between pop-ups and pages in a second, then you press, oops, it took it back. And if you go into a page, um, you, the back, this button here will always be the main page to go back to the main page. And that's the way you can always find that. Um, some other differences are that the folder, I'll go back and slightly closer. So here you can see that some of them are folders, some of the buttons are folder shape and some of them are um, squares. So with the square, you simply press the button, it goes in the top and then you press the bit to touch it. If it's a folder shape, it's always got other words underneath it. Um, so for example this here on the, this is one of the other differences. So in the book the I, me, my, mine are all on one page. However you cannot have a talker saying I, me, my, mine because it doesn't have the ability like the smart partner does to figure out which one it is. So therefore under the word I you have the choice of all the different things that you can do. And as this a pop-up there should be oops there just to get you back onto the main page. Um, the pop-ups tend to be words that you're only going to say once. So, for example, things um, is a pop-up. So, um, and other ones that you like to say more things in. For example, special events. So, you might be saying, for example, happy birthday or merry Christmas. So, therefore, there's more than one thing. So, that makes it a... Um, a page rather than a pop-up. The other big difference between the page and the pop-ups are that in the pages, um, I should have stayed within that one, um, you will notice here, this is a pop-up, you will notice here that there is none, no predictably associated vocabulary with it, whereas in the other ones, there are. So you've got access to to these words here the same way you do in the main page. So before you use a pop-up, you have to remember, this is a bit different from the book where all the um, predictably associated vocabulary is always there, you should really put in your message before you go, go into there. So if you wanted to say, I like Leah, for example. I like Leah. You have to put in that beginning vocabulary before you go onto the people page to put in Leah, otherwise you're not going to find that information there. Um, and when you go into um, the pages as well, um, so there's a, that one's a page. So you go into the pages, you'll see that um, the rounds, the sides don't change, which means that you can get access to um, all of these categories, and these are the categories that you are most likely to use within the context of another um, page as well. Um, so sentence starters is something that's different from within the pod. Um, so these are where you would find um, a lot of the things that are under kind of the um, pragmatic branch starters that you would find within the chat, uh, within the pod book, whereas here it's got its own sentence, eh, sorry, its own category. Chat 
is a different beast altogether because these chat words are words and phrases that are just quick throwaway phrases that, phrases that you might say um, generally when you, you could still be chatting about something else someone would come up you'd want to make a comment or say something quick to them like how rude um, and then go around so that's what it does is it speaks the word closes the pop-up automatically and then you can go about filling out uh, carrying on what you were doing before so that's the purpose of chat and that is why it does that so the chat words can be quite fun to use we use them a lot uh, the other the last thing to say is that if you ever if for whatever reason Leah manages to get it stuck or does something strange what you should do is go into the wee button at the top go to settings page browser main and open sorry that didn't work and it will open up on the main page and that might be just a handy tip for you thanks <laughs>